Goodout 4.3 is around the corner as Beta 1 has just been released. With it, a new node has come, the tile map layer, that is meant to replace the original tile map node we used to have. Today, let's check their differences and how you can start to use tile map layer today. So to demonstrate how this will work, I will create a brand new to the scene, okay? And I will call it main for example, and I will save it over here. So now if we actually want to add some kind of tile map node, well, we see that we now have two options, okay? We have a tile map that is the option that we are used to using and tile map layer. Um, so here in tile map in the description we can read deprecated uh this word means that basically well this basically means that a tile map node is not going anymore to be receiving more new features and that uh, super soon it's going to be finally deleted okay so it's basically a way of actually uh, that Godot is giving us to adapt tile maps into tile map layer and actually Godot does provide a, a built-in way of a super quickly being able to turn a tile map into different tile map layers so let's add both of both of them and well um there, there aren't lots of things that are different so you shouldn't really have any problems um basically using them because basically both of them use tile sets okay so the way in which uh, tiles tile sets that are created are the exact same one in literally any version so you don't really have to hesitate about anything. Um, what is important here in the difference is that if you already have some project that uses a tile map, for example, here we'll create a brand new tile set. Okay, so uh, I will actually create a, a tile over here quite easily. I will modify here the, the size. Okay, and I will create a tile set like this. Uh, so here I'm going to be able to paint okay so now well as you already know you have here the layers um that you have over here you can add as many layers as you want so for example we have here three layers um so for example i will have here in layer zero this first this uh, row at the bottom of the viewport then in layer one i will have these ones like on the center and this layer two on the top so basically layers allow you to to be able to render things on top of others for example, here in layer 2, I can modify just the color of these ones. And well, other things I'm, I'm not going really to go deeper uh, because this is a video just about the differences between both of them. Um, and Time Map Layer works the exact, the exact same way, but just the difference is that you don't here have a settings for changing the layers, okay? This, each of them work as, work as an individual layer for your tile set, okay? So it is just a way of having everything um, more organized so here as well you are able to create a new tile set um, and create it here and then on the tile map draw so yes the workflow is the exact same one um, just that uh, now you for example may have an O2D and inside of here you may have a variety of tile map layers well depending on your exact layers that uh, you may have so now the question is what happens if I already have a project that is using tile map and as I told you, as it is marked as deprecated, this means that it's going to be soon deleted. Actually, Goodout, of course, has thought of this and has provided a, already a solution, a super easy solution instead of having to create every tile map from scratch and having to adapt a, every layer from scratch. Remember that here I have three layers, okay? So what I can do over here, I can go to the settings menu and I can extract time map layers as individual time map layer nodes. Uh, so I can click here, and as you can see, as a child of a time map, I will have the three corresponding layers following the exact names that I put over here. Because, for example, let me delete these ones. And basically, um, I will add, let's say, again, three layers, but I will call this one uh, background. Then on top of the background, I want to have the foreground and on top of the foreground i don't know i will put effects for example so well here i have them so i'm going to extract them and here i have them i have and i have them in order 
So it's going to always make sure that it is displayed in the same order that we created the layers. I can check here that, well, now the layers don't exist anymore, but they used to be firstly the background, then on top of that, the foreground, and on top of that, uh, the effects, okay? Uh, so it's quite easy to adapt everything. There aren't lots of changes, but it still is something that you really have to understand because if you are uh, if you are currently under the development or of some project or you are thinking of starting a new project, you should right away start using time map layers. And if you have already created something with time map, go ahead and before this is deleted, basically click over here and extract everything as individual time map layer nodes. And then you can change this time map node. Uh, you can change its type. Where is the button? Here. I'll change type. I basically have some node to the here as a kind of container to show or hide everything. Okay. Um, so yes, basically this is all that you have to know about time maps and time map layers. So this is all for today's video. There are still lots of changes that we can check out about growth 4.3 and even more changes that may come or some things that could be adjusted once the final release is officially out so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel in order to know the latest good old news and the latest new features and about how to use them properly in the engine so i will see you in the next one bye bye